Hey, it's Simon, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. Well, I've been singing since I was young. Music was always my passion. My, my always my escape was music, and I knew at a certain point that I wanted to make that escape my reality. And uh, when I was 16, I started a band in, in my garage. And so then a year ago, the band broke up. I was devastated. Um, but I said, I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, I'm not done, I'm just beginning. And I got into a studio and I started creating my, my whole thing, Simon. And I got signed to Sony. So I put out a song called Say, which was like an introduction song. Um, it was a play on the phrase Simon Says, because obviously my name's Simon. It broke top 50 in pop radio. It was awesome for me, but I've been anxiously awaiting to release my single off my debut album. And the song itself goes to radio in like a week and a half, and uh, it's called No Way. So I'm excited. Yeah, it's very personal. Um, I feel like a lot of people can relate to it. You know, I went on a date and some dude, all he wanted to do was just get into my pants before he even really knew my last name. So I feel like so many people can relate to a scenario like that. So after the fact, I got into the studio and I was like, this is what just happened. And I'm my album is about my, you know, experiences. Obviously, I, I love sex. Most people love sex, but like, you want to have sex on your own terms and that's what the song is about it's like my body my choice and it's not just for females it's for all people because all people i believe can relate to that because in the song i say no way i'm you but then i say okay i'm you so it's like when you want to then you do it artwork to me has always been incredibly important people used to pride themselves on their cover art and so i wanted to make something that had a statement so I thought it was um, kind of interesting, since the song is, you know, no way I'm f***ing you, that I would be wearing a chastity belt. So we kind of found like a modern day type chastity belt, spray painted it, my stylist Alex Shearer did. And um, then we kind of wrapped me in chains and I have a lock, so it's like to unlock me, you gotta know more than, to be able to, you know, sleep with me, you have to know a little bit more about me than just want to do that. So Hits One is an awesome radio station that is on Sirius XM. And they were actually the first station that added my hype song, Say. And um, before I knew it, they were calling me up and they're like, we want to meet with you in LA and talk about a show. And I'm like, what, me? Oh my gosh. So um, literally I do it every day from four to seven, I'm on, I have incredible co-hosts. One's name is Michael Yo, and one is Tony Fly. And we're literally talking to the biggest people in music, television, film, comedians. It's crazy, every day, like I just started last week, I literally had, you know, meetings with Louis Tomlinson, Steve Aoki, you know, it's just, Andy Grammer, it's just insane. So I'm pinching myself um, every day. And one would be Max Martin, the writer and producer. Musician-wise, I'd love to work with um, the Chainsmokers, g Easy. I'd love to get like a really dope feature this year. I ordered a shit ton of clothes from Urban Outfitters online and I used my mom's credit card. The credit card company called just to make sure that it wasn't theft or anything. And they called and they're like, hi, we see that so-and-so, da da da. I'm like, yes, 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 that's my mom. She did let me order the clothes, blah, 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 blah. They're like, well, we need to talk to your mom. My mom lives, doesn't live near me, okay? And so I had to lie and pretend I was my mom. So I was like, yes, that was my daughter. Yes, that's her, yep. That my, and I had to lie about the whole thing. It was amazing, I loved it. That was a good lie. Um, yes, like an ex-boyfriend, are you kidding me? Or like, yes, going through and like checking out who the new girlfriend is, zooming in closely and boom, you tap it. You're like, Ugh. You unlike it, but you're like, they definitely saw it, cool. Great. I am absolutely loving the fact that some of these really cool street brands have come back. I'm wearing Fila right now, and the fact that like just being casual is cool. I love the fact that I go to a club and I could be in an Adidas sweatsuit and just put on like a strappy heel or something, and I am so comfy. Like, I don't know if it's talent, but a secret would be that I'm fluent in sign language, and I, growing up, I was super immersed in like deaf culture and had a best friend that was deaf. So that's probably something that a lot of people don't know. And I hope to have an impact on people in this world. And I really look forward to putting out my debut album and sharing myself with everyone. And I can't wait for 2017.